Hello and welcome to this second video in a small series where we're looking at free instruments which are available from Steinberg for Halion Sonic. The last video was looking at the Alto Glockenspiel and today's video we're looking at guitar harmonics. So let's take a look at the website and see how you download and install it. So this instrument covers guitar harmonics which you may or may not be aware are bell-like tones which you can get by touching a node point on a string and then plucking it. So you don't actually fret it, you just create a still point which then forces the string to vibrate in a particular way. It does this anyway to a degree when you pick any note but this highlights those and you can get say these very nice atmospheric bell-like tones out of the guitar by doing this. This isn't the kind of thing you're probably going to use every day, but if you do need harmonic sounds, this could be a useful addition to your Sonic Toolkit. So let's look at downloading it. So the download process is the same as covered in a previous video on the Glock. So I'm not going to cover it in detail here, but effectively you click download for free, sign into your Steinberg account. You'll then get an email which has a link to the Steinberg download assistant that allows you to download it and code which you can put into the e-licenser control center to give you the license. Once you've done that you can then install it. So I'm just going to go through that quickly but for a slower version that's in the other video so take a look there. As you can see I've pasted the license code into e-licenser activation code and then that's installed that onto my USB e-licenser. You can see there it's now licensed and now with the Steinberg download assistant I'm going to download Guitar Harmonics which again is under VST Instruments and Plugins and is only small and also gives you the option to download the latest version of Halion Sonic SE if you need it. Clicking open opens the library manager I can install it and as you can see it's now installed. So that's the installation of Guitar Harmonics. If you need a slower version of that it's on the other video about the Alto Glockenspiel but now let's have a look at it in Cubase. So as ever to select Guitar Harmonics we click All Instrument Sets and we get Guitar Harmonics, which has just got this one patch, so you can actually search just for Guitar Harmonics once you get used to it. And now let's take a look at what editing is available. So as you can imagine, again, this is a fairly simple plugin because after all, it is free, it's Guitar Harmonics Essential, and we've got access to these unusual things. So we can turn rotary off, for instance, so now we should just get just the sounds themselves. So that's kind of guitar harmonic -y. Let's go up an octave. So, so it's not the most accurate guitar harmonics, but I say that as somebody obviously plays the guitar. I think this would convince a lot of people, but also it's the kind of sound, if you like the sound of it, it doesn't really matter whether it's totally convincing or not, but let's take a look at some of the controls. So we've got attack. Now you certainly couldn't do that with a real harmonic. So a long attack sounds quite interesting. And by default, the decay is pretty high. Let's turn it all the way down. So it's more than just decay because we, we don't really have the standard ODSR because it doesn't have sustain built in if you turn that down. So you can see on screen I'm holding the note down, but it's faded away. If we turn it all the way up, we get attack and decay, and the decay is also really controlling the release time as well, but we certainly don't have sustain in there. So let's put that back to something a little bit more standard and look at this tone control. So we can go from all the way to the left, which should be a dark tone, to all the way to the right. You can hear it sounds much more harp-like at that. So we've got some reasonable variation there. And then we've got this rotary effect we can add.
and also cabinet. So there's a bit of distortion in there, etc. Isn't there? It's much more like it's been through a guitar amp. And as with the Glock, we've got delay and reverb. We can add the same options as before. So we've got fourths, eighths, and sixteenths. And the amount we can add in. So controlling feedback really there. Probably a combination of feedback and level. And the reverb, again, those four types we've already seen in the previous video and with a reverb control level. And as with the Alto Glockenspiel, every parameter can be automated. So you've got the ability to change this throughout the course of your piece of music. So that's a nice touch. So there you have it, Guitar Harmonics Essential, which is currently free from Steinberg and is pretty easy to install into Halion Sonic SE, Halion and Halion Sonic. As we've seen, it's pretty good at what it does, although what it does is fairly limited. So it's not going to be the kind of thing you're going to use every day, although no doubt somebody will say, actually, I use this every day. It's the only instrument I ever make music on. But if you need that guitar harmonic stroke harp type sound, it's a pretty good addition to your toolkit. And of course, I say it's free at the moment. As ever, I hope you found this video useful, and if you have, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition. Bye.